is when you're driving up on the ramp and you get all your spacing and everything, just put some oil. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog from the great not so sunshine state of Florida today. Um, and if you're seeing this video, you guys know that means it's Thursday and it's tool time Thursday brought to you especially for my tool time Thursday subscriber, Stephen Mims. This is for you, Stephen. Tool time Thursday. I uh, skipped the last two Thursdays. I was busy doing some stuff. So today I'm gonna do a cheap tool time Thursday. If you don't have the quick jacks, like I had the quick jacks, this is a way you could um, build your own lift, your own quick jack system. Even though, um, you know, you could buy it. A lot of people starting out don't wanna invest the money to buy that or they're not working on their car enough to buy invest the 1600 bucks for the quick jack system this is another way you could do it to get your car high up and safer than actually just being on a jack stand and if this is your first time checking out the channel definitely i want you to tap 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 tap, tap that subscribe button down below hit the bell icon ding for future uploads like share and subscribe to the channel and comment, definitely comment, let me know. Steven, this Tool Time Thursday is for you. So here it is, guys. I made, me and my buddy Ronnie, of course, Ronnie, staple of the channel now. Um, we made these, our own little, uh, I don't know what you call them, jack stand, wheel stands, out of two by fours. We have something like this on the airplane, we call a milk stool. That way you come in, you rest the, um, the ramp on and put the load uh, to preload the ramp. Um, but yeah, these are what we made and I'm gonna show you how we're using them. But in case you guys forgot, don't forget Eleanor. Look at the back of Eleanor. Soon Eleanor, we will get all your parts for your transmission and we will be back on the road. Look at that, can't wait to get that beast in the street. Look at them pipes, look at that stance, look how wide them tires are. Woo! All right, I'm distracted. Let's get back to today's Tool Time Thursday. So pretty much what it is, as you can see, we made four, but because this car is so low and the Challengers is so awkward to get up that high in the air, we only ended up really needing to uh, use two of them, but you can use four and you could adjust the height. So what pretty much what it is Let me go this way and get the shadow out of there. So all it is is These two by fours we cut um, 16 inches all of them and then all you do you just stack them up Like this and you screw them down we use three inch screws that way it go all the way through and bite and then you just keep flipping them screwing them down like that and um first we made them 16 inches tall but that's it's too tall for what we need because a tire drooped down so we end up taking a few off and this is what it looks like right here so as you can see the tires are on it and we got a lot of room underneath for us to get to the transmission. As you can see, there's no, tra where's the transmission? Where is my transmission? No transmission. The transmission is right there. Sorry guys, the garage is a little junky. I just got back from the big showdown two or yeah, two and I just threw stuff in here and then we made these um, so we could put the car on so right there we had it higher we had it 16 inches but we couldn't get the car any higher with the size jack that I had I needed probably a long reach jack to get it up higher so with the jack I had 
that's as high as we got it, which is high enough to where we could slide the transmission underneath to get the um to get the bell housing underneath because the bell housing is the biggest part. So as you guys can see, no transmission is in there. So that's tomorrow's job. Today's job was building these. Get them all done up. Tire sits on it like this, and you want to make sure when you put them on here, you put them this way because this um, works as like a stopper for the tire so it doesn't roll forward or backwards. So, just a quick tool time Thursday with some DIY, um, DIY, I don't know what you call them, I wouldn't say jacks, jack stands, I guess. And to me, they're a little bit more secure because the tires are on there and you don't have to worry about if you bump something that there it's going to um, tilt off, you know, like a jack stand or if you're using Harbor Freight jack stands, you know, you're, you're playing Russian roulette. They may or may not fall down, but that's all it is. A bunch of two by fours to do four of these with being six, about 15 and a half inches tall we use 15 eight by foot, eight by eight feet, two by fours to get um, four of these. But I said, it ended up being, we I took some off because um, I didn't have a jack that could jack the car high enough to get these other, get it up to clear the tire. So there it is, Steven, really easy. And you could make your own tools to, with this one. All you need is a saw, some kind of cutting, a drill, and a whole box, about a five pound box of three inch um, wood screws or drywall screws, but it has to be three inches. So, it's, so it'll go clear through the two by four and have enough grip to grip. And then it's pretty stable, so it's not gonna go anywhere cause it's always have, um, the, the um, distributing the force around the whole thing so it's not just on this because then it's pushing it down and then everything is el goodo. But there it is, just for you, Stephen. Tool time Thursday, homemade car stand. Um, I'm not the first to do it. There'll be many after. It's just my take on it. 16 inches, a bunch of two by fours, Lots, lot safe, a lot more safe, better safe. And um, yeah, there it is. So I feel a lot more comfortable getting underneath this if I don't have the um, the quick jacks or the jack stand. But what I like about this over the quick jacks uh, system, it gives you the ability to use the whole side of the car. With the quick jacks, I had to go from the uh, rear of the car, or I had to take the wheel off and cut through that way because the quick jacks take up the whole side of the car. So that's another thing where these come in handy. So there it is, another Tool Time Thursday in the books, just for you, Steven. Um, I better see you make some of these things and use them. You could use them for anything. I'm sitting on them right now. I could use them as camp stool. Uses a fire, fire pit, all kind of stuff. But as usual, guys, if this is your first time or not even your first time uh, checking out the channel, definitely, definitely tap, 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 tap that subscribe button down below, bell icon, ding for future upload, like, share, comment on the vids. And until the next time, next Tool Time Thursday, or if you have, there's a tool you want me to review or uh, go over, let me know. Animeus. Eleanor, Max, we're still waiting uh, to get Black Betty out of here to um, to pull him in and start taking it apart to see the damage so I could get it together for Gapfest. And until the next video, guys, thanks for watching the videos as usual and rocking with me. 2021, we going up.
Peace. I don't know what sleep is. I got a queen. She lit me the evening. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me the snippet. You well overdue for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a murder, she wrote it. Still up with courage, you're doing a service. Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the brush strokes. Cut throat from the low, low, when no love goes. Women, buddy, buddy, like.